Alright, what is going on my epic gamers? My name is Lisp, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at extreme cheapskates. I know that some people are cheap, but these people are like extremely cheap. If they could save a penny anywhere, they will. And so we're going to be taking a look at one of a video of extreme cheapskates. Now in this one, these people are like going to a vacation, I'm pretty sure they go to Las Vegas, and they have- and they're like trying to save money everywhere. So let's just get into the video. Hey! Hi! What's up? Nothing. Oh. And all the bags are in there. Got everything? Yeah. Every day, my mom wants me to bring back milk cartons, plastic bags, any leftover food that I might have from lunch. All right. Okay, but why? Why would you want to, like, take extra food that's, like, half eaten? Like, are you just gonna eat that later? And also, why bring the cardboard? What do you need milk cartons for? That just makes no sense. You can't even do anything with it. Sometimes my friends wonder why I don't throw away my milk cartons or why I don't throw away my plastic bags like they do. And I have to explain it to them. I think it's kind of weird. Oh my god, I feel so bad for her. She just has to like explain to her friends. Oh yeah, my mom just wants my cardboard and half-eaten chicken sandwich. Milk cartons are cheap and they're great organizational tools. Angela Libby is a single mother of two living in Denver, Colorado. My home life with my two girls, Sarah and Katrina, is wonderful. And we all pretty much take care of each other. Just reusing everyday items and keeping her home ordered and efficient, she's able to save $300 a year. I drink tea every morning. I can reuse that tea bag a couple of times. When I'm done with that, I can use it to scrub dishes. Okay, first off, tea is disgusting. And two, why would you reuse tea bags? I feel like the tea would just taste terrible if you used it again. And then once you've used them a couple times, you use them to like wipe down stuff. That's just really dumb. Just, just buy paper towels or wet wipes. See, from the used tea bag, I got rid of all the grease in here. Nice clean pan. When it gets to the point where it's falling apart with that, I take it and I boil the leaves. And then I use that to clean my floors. How much times do you have to reuse stuff? Like, I feel like once the tea bag's done, it's just done. You don't have to use it for two other things. Floor cleaners themselves for wood floors are very expensive. And I can probably save about $75 a year using that tea bag. Only $75 a year? That, that's just not enough to be doing this. It's just too much work. and. The, for barely anything. Growing up with my mom being this cheap, it's kind of a good lesson for me. But sometimes she goes a little bit overboard. Okay, you got 10 minutes. Our shower schedule may seem strange, but an average 10 minute shower in Colorado costs 45 cents on my water bill. Each person only takes two showers every week for 10 minutes. Really? That is just terrible. Two showers a week? For only 10 minutes? I take more than like three showers a week, at least. And I take very long in the shower. It's way longer than 10 minutes. I, this is probably just a terrible life. It's a nice picture. That's, I like that picture. That was such a great place, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I love to travel, I love to explore, and I love to share that with the kids. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Like, this is one of the only cheapskates I've ever seen that actually, like, takes trips. Because all the other ones are like, oh, airplanes are too expensive and terrible and bad. So I'll give her credit for that one. Look at you in the pineapple! <laughs> one thing I'm really proud of is I've been able to take my kids on a lot of really great vacations very cheaply. Our vacations can be pretty, pretty cheap, and we rarely fly, and we always bring our own food, and we only buy something if you absolutely, positively need it. <laughs> Can make well, then, where do you even go? The dollar store? What vacations are actually good where you can't fly, you can't buy food, you have to bring your own, and you, it basically just crosses off, like, 58% of the places. 
Hey, girls. <laughs> uh, Mom, what are you doing? We need to pack as much food as we can in our carry-on. So the only real way to get our clothes to Las Vegas is to wear them all. Okay, I get it. They need to pack enough food because, you know, they're cheap and stuff. But wearing all your clothes there to save space in your luggage and stuff? That's probably, like, really uncomfortable and probably really embarrassing. Like, people will be giving you weird looks because you're wearing, like, 20 pairs of pants. Oh, yeah. Checking bags is $25 per bag, which means $75 for the three of us. And that's money I do not want to spend. There's still not quite enough room in here, Katrina, so I'm going to need you to put on a few more clothes. I've never had to travel with all my clothes on. I really thought that's what the purposes of suitcases were, but I guess today I'm learning um, a new purpose for them. Yeah, you are right. Suitcases are for carrying all your stuff. You're not supposed to wear all your clothes to the airport. They're just so cheap, they don't want to spend a couple extra $25. If you don't want to spend the money, then just don't go to Las Vegas, which is where they're going. Don't even plan vacations if you're just not going to spend any money. I'm very excited to go on this trip with Katrina and her mom, but traveling with all my clothes on through the airport was a little uncomfortable because it was very hot, and I could tell that people were kind of noticing. So it was a little strange for me. Oh god, I just feel so bad for them. Like, they just have to go into an airport with all their clothes. It's probably hot, as I said, and definitely uncomfortable. And also, like, how could you not notice someone wearing 10 pairs of pants? Hi! How you doing? Good. Welcome to Las Vegas Mini Grand Prix. Thanks. What can I do for you? We want to ride some rides, so... Okay. I have uh, uh, my go-kart course, sprint tracks, uh, they can ride Dragon Coaster, Tornado, Die Bummer, and my Super Slide. If they want to ride all the rides, they can purchase the wristband for twenty-one fifty. dollars That'll get them a ride on each ride out there for one hour. Okay, so what if we didn't want to ride all the rides? $7.50 for tickets, per tickets. $7.50 for each ride? That is correct. Per person? Per person. Oh my god, is she deaf? She's like, wait, it's $20? And he's like, yep. And then she's like, per person? And then he's like, yep. But is it $20? And he's like, yeah. So girls, what ride do you really want to go on? Go, go karts. Yeah, I guess, go karts. Go karts. So how many laps can we get out of one of those go karts? On the go karts, anywhere from seven to eight laps. Okay, so we could each get a couple of laps out of it if we just kind of jump in and jump out real quick. Um, no, that's not what he said. He literally said it is like $20 per person. I'm pretty sure that's what he said. You can't just pay $20 and you all go on just for a small amount of time. That's not a normal thing we do. But we'd be really quick. I, I understand. Promise, still jump off, jump back on. For one time, only one time though. Okay. We can only do this one time. Okay, we'll take one ticket. All right. There we go. Thank you. I know I said this so many times, but I just feel so bad for them. Like, they both just look so embarrassed. She's like, why can't you just pay? And also, like, why would he let them on? Like, there's rules for a reason. Like, stand your ground. Anyway, they end up going on the go-karts and driving around it and stuff, and that's just basically where it ends. I don't want to make this video longer than it needs to be, because you don't really need to see that. And uh, that's all that's gonna do it for the video. And uh, don't be a cheapskate. Bye.